Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Connie and today I'm going to talk to you guys about my current favorite drugstore foundations. So I'm only going to do a top five. Um, I'm not gonna go in any particular order though so these are just random. I thought I would do this video because I know a lot of us like to shop at the drugstore and buy more affordable makeup products which I love drugstore makeup and drugstore um, beauty products. I decided to do this video just really quickly. It's not gonna go too in depth. It's not gonna be super long, I hope. Um, so just really quickly, gonna share with you guys my current favorite foundations from the drugstore. So I'm going to start off with this one right here. Again, it's no particular order, but this one is actually the one I'm wearing right now. Um, so this is the Healthy Foundation by Physicians Formula and this is actually a new favorite of mine. Um, I bought it like maybe a couple months ago and um, I've been trying it out, wearing it here and there. I ended up really, really loving this foundation so it's become a new favorite of mine. I'm almost running out actually, which I'm planning to repurchase after I run out. This foundation has SPF 20 and it says it's for all skin types, which right now I'm dealing with some acne. I would say this is definitely medium to full coverage. Um, I think you can definitely build it up if you want more coverage, which I do. I always add like a second layer after. And the shade that I got for me in this one is MW2. I think they don't have that many shades, but I'm not sure. I actually bought it at Ulta online. I don't know how many shades they have, but I really like this foundation. The only thing I'm not super, super a fan of is the applicator. Um, so it's like this. This is what the applicator looks like. It's a doe foot applicator. It reminds me of the um, Too Faced concealer, Born This Way concealer. I'm not a huge fan of that applicator just because it takes me longer to have to apply it everywhere and then blend it out and then apply another layer. When I first got this, I actually thought you would you could just pop the top off and like pour it out or there was gonna be a pump um, because I didn't know it was that kind of applicator. And I actually <laughs> broke the top trying to <laughs> lift it off and like flip it off like that. Um, so yeah, just remember it's you twist. <laughs> Overall, I really like this foundation. Price range, it is a little bit more expensive than the other foundations that I have. Um, it was, I think, $12.99 or maybe from like $12 to $15 depending on where you get it. If you get it at Ulta or Walmart. I'm pretty sure Walmart has all of these foundations for cheaper than the other stores. So definitely always check Walmart first if you can find it there. And I would get it there because it's probably cheaper even if it's just a couple dollars less. It's something. <laughs> I try to go there sometimes but it's we all know Walmart can be a little bit crazy sometimes. Um, my sister calls it the jungle um, because it's crazy there sometimes. Um, but they have really, really great deals. So if you guys can find these on Walmart in person or online, definitely check that out first because their prices are always the lowest. A little bit more about the Healthy Foundation from Physicians Formula. I'll read the back. It says it's packed with vitamins and antioxidants for healthy coverage infused with Chinese Wu Zhu Yu <laughs> extract um, and hyaluronic acid, sodium salts to brighten, hydrate, and even skin tone, ultra blendable, lightweight, buildable, and breathable. I agree with the last part that it's lightweight, breathable, and buildable. I really, really agree with that. It is lightweight. It feels light on the skin, um, but it still gives good coverage and it gives like a glow, like a it gives like a really nice glow to your skin. Okay, moving on. Um, next, I'm going to show you guys another foundation that I recently um, purchased and became a favorite of mine. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus um, Stick Foundation or Foundation Stick. I've worn it a few times now and every time I've worn it, I really like it. It's pretty much the same as the Physicians Formula one. It gives really good coverage. It's lightweight. And I like the shade. The shade that I got matches me really well. Um, I got Classic Beige 868. This is what it looks like. Here's the actual product. And this one you just kind of 
put it like this all over your face it's really quick to apply it and I prefer to apply this with a brush than a sponge I feel like it blends out better with a brush than with a sponge I feel like that about all my stick foundations I always prefer to put them on with a, a brush than with a sponge um, but yeah this one also gives really good coverage lightweight and um, it's really affordable I think it's only five dollars was it five dollars or again it depends where you get it but it was no more than ten dollars so it could be from like five to eight depending on where you get it when wild always has really good products for an affordable price so definitely check out that brand um, if you like drugstore makeup they always have like really good stuff next up is the l'oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation and I lost the cap so that's why it's already opened this one is also really really good um, I don't know if it lasts up to 24 hours I've never tried it for that long or worn it for that long but it's a really really nice foundation the coverage is really nice and it feels lightweight it does feel like um, a breathable foundation this one also has a sunscreen of SPF 25 so it's more than the physician's formula one and this one does have a pump which I really like I really like their pump actually it dispenses the product really easily and nicely um, it's one of my favorite pumps from the drugstore foundations that I have for this one I got the shade 460 which I don't know what it's called it's golden beige so it's golden beige 460 it says it's breathable buildable coverage so definitely agree with that I feel like this one oxidizes a little bit though like I've put it on my hand before because that's where I usually put it on and then I grab it with a sponge and after a while i've noticed that it gets darker on my hand which is actually not bad in my case because this shade is a little bit lighter um, than my skin tone so then when it oxidizes it blends in nicely and it looks more it matches me better actually so i don't mind that but if you get you know your shade it might get a little bit darker because i feel like it does oxidize over time one thing that i don't really like though i'm not a big fan of is the scent i know some people might like it but i feel like it's a strong scent when i'm applying it i always can smell it and it smells really strong and i'm not a fan of like the way it smells it has like a perfume scent and it's nice but not you know on your face to be smelling it the whole time that you're applying it i do feel like it goes away eventually after i finish my makeup i don't smell it anymore but when i'm applying it it's like a really heavy scent so I don't like that I wish it didn't have any scent at all but other than that I really like this foundation it was my favorite for a while when I first bought it I was just I was wearing this non-stop I believe it was maybe around the same price as the physicians formula one which is like $12 12 13 dollars um, again no more than 15 it depends where you get it and depends if you like buying a good sale okay, the next one is the covergirl true blend matte made foundation and this one i heard a lot of people talk about um raving about because i guess it's um transfer proof I do like this foundation but i didn't get the right shade i feel like this shade is too light for me or it just doesn't blend well but i do like the coverage i do like that it's matte and it does stay on um for a long time so if you can find this in your shade like a good shade match i would definitely recommend this one as well i got it an m10 which is golden natural but i feel like it still didn't match me so i'm probably gonna look for a different shade this one says it's comfort matte finish oil free formula um it has a pump applicator and yeah just that's all it says pretty much I'm pretty sure it's around eleven dollars twelve maybe I might put the information on the bottom here or in the description box of each foundation and their prices and where it's cheapest um, so check out the description box I might have the information of the foundations on there so it does say on the label that is transfer resistant so that's really cool I've never done like a transfer test to see if it was true or not maybe I should do that one day and see if it really doesn't transfer <laughs> um, but that's definitely a plus I always get worried that like my makeup is gonna come off on somebody when i hug them <laughs> i don't wear this one as often as the other ones just because again the shade didn't match me um like i wanted to 
but um, I'm probably gonna buy a different shade and then start wearing it more often. Okay, now it's time for the last foundation, number five. Again, it doesn't mean I don't like it. This is probably actually like one of the top ones out of all of them, um, the one I've had the longest. And this is the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Foundation. This one is a repurchase. I already ran out the first time and I bought it again. This is probably the one that I've worn the longest and most often um, out of all of these. I love Maybelline foundations. I think a lot of their foundations are really good. Um, my old favorite used to be the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy. I used to wear that one all the time and it was really affordable. It was like $6 I think at Walmart six or seven dollars and um they came out with this one and i tried it out and i loved it this one is really full coverage so this one is definitely a full coverage foundation it has a matte finish and i feel like it matches me really well like matches my skin tone i actually just really love maybelline all their products they're probably my favorite or like my go-to brand at the drugstore it's usually Maybelline I really like this foundation I've been wearing it for a long time recently with my acne though it's starting to kind of break me out sometimes but before I had the acne issues um, I had no issues it never broke me out it gave me full coverage matte finish everything I really like it um, I'm still going to use it <laughs> I'm gonna keep using it and see if it is this that's breaking me out or um, Maybe it's something else that I used that day. But I really like this foundation. It's like one of my top favorites. So some of the things that it says in the back is full coverage foundation, up to 24 hour wear, seamless matte finish, breathable and comfortable, fade and transfer resistant. I don't know about that, but <laughs> oil free, doesn't clog pores, dermatologist tested, and that's pretty much it. So this one doesn't have SPF in it. The shade that I get in this is 220 Natural Beige, and that's always the shade that I get with Maybelline foundations. They're Maybelline Fit Me um, stick foundation. I've tried the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Matte. I prefer the dewy one instead of the matte one to be honest that was like i said my old favorite another thing about the maybelline one i feel like that one also oxidizes just a little bit i don't think it oxidizes a lot but i've seen and heard people say that it does and i have noticed it on my hand as well that it does oxidize a little bit and i've heard some people say it looks orange or turns orange on them but in my case that's never really happened to me or i've never noticed it look orange when it comes to this one i usually apply it with a sponge most of these i apply it with a sponge except the um stick foundation that one i do with a brush anyways that was the last foundation that i had to share with you guys those are my current top five um favorite drugstore foundations so if you guys are looking for um a new drugstore foundation or to try some drugstore foundation i definitely recommend all five of these let me know if you guys have tried any of these if you like them if you don't like them if you have any new drugstore um foundation favorites or any new drugstore products that you guys like that's going to be it for this video thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to give it a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel i'd really really appreciate it and i'll see you guys in my next video bye